Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So Wednesday means it's Wild Card Wednesday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and today we are heading to Modern to check out a deck that's built around my all-time favorite planeswalker, Venser the Sojourner. This is Venser Bant for Modern. In this deck, Oh man, it is just so sweet. It plays so many sweet cards, it draws a lot of cards, does some tricky blinking stuff, cryptic commands a lot. I just really love this deck. I don't know how good it is, but it looks like a blast to play. Comes to us from Yokokawa Yuda, who took it to an undefeated finish in a small Japanese tournament. So congrats to Yuda on a super awesome deck. A quick reminder before we break down Venser Bant for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it main to videos take a minute click the like button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being main to videos next week so venser bant is built around venser the sojourner as i said my favorite planeswalker of all time five mana three loyalty allows you to flicker for its plus two so exile a permanent you own at the next end step, you get to return it to play, which obviously lets you reuse, enter the battlefield triggers, or even just kind of weirdly ramp. You can untap one of your lands. Negative one makes all creatures unblockable. Probably the least used mode on Venser. And then, if you can ultimate Venser, it is super sweet. You get an emblem where whenever you cast a spell, you get to exile a target permanent. So you uncounterably just exile stuff. Eventually, all your opponent's lands are gone, all their creatures are gone, all their stuff is gone, and you can just kind of win at your leisure while you're still blinking away with Venser for value. So Venser, just a super sweet card. We even have Eldrazi Displacer as kind of our backup Venser. So obviously can't ultimate, doesn't do all that crazy stuff, but Eldrazi Displacer does give us another repeatable way to blink our creatures for value. Just three mana, including a colorless mana, to exile a creature, return to the battlefield, tapped under its owner's control. So in some ways this does kind of give the unblockable ability because we can blink blockers out of the way but most of the time we want to use this to blink our own creatures for value so what are we blinking with our venser and our displacer well starting off two drop slot wall of omens just draws a card when it enters the battlefield so we play this on turn two have a good blocker to stop the goblin guides and other early game creatures in modern and then once we get our displacer down our venser down we're just drawing extra cards every turn it becomes our own personal howling mind because we're just blinking and flickering away Way to draw tons of cards. Then we have some kind of weird card draw. Eternal Witness and Renegade Rallyer essentially draw us cards from our graveyard. So getting back fetch lands that we sat, creatures that have died, spells that we've cast, Eternal Witness just directly gets back any card in our graveyard, puts it back in our hand. Of course, we can blink this, we can flicker this. Renegade Rallyer is super sweet with either of our blink effects because blinking Renegade Rallier automatically gives us a revolt because it left the battlefield for it to return to the battlefield, which means we're getting back fetch lands. We're getting back ghost quarters to keep repeatedly destroying our opponent's land. We're getting back wall of oven. So many sweet, cheap things that we can just keep getting back over and over and over again. Works like ramp to get to our Venser with fetch lands. Just a great card for the deck. Otherwise, we have some disruptive blink targets as well. Reflector Mage gets rid of a creature for a couple turns and it gets rid of creatures for essentially ever if we keep blinking it and flickering it to just keep bouncing our opponent's stuff. Spell Queller temporarily gets rid of basically any cheap thing in the format by exiling it. We can always reset it with our Venser if we need to, to exile a better target in the future. Then we have Kitchen Finks, which is our main plan to gain life against aggro decks. If it blocks and gets a negative one, negative one counter on it, Venser resets that, Eldrazi Displacer resets it, so it be, kind of becomes this infinite blocker that also gains us a bunch of life along the way. We have Aether Vial as well, which is just a great way to cheat on mana. You probably notice from our creatures, we got a lot of three drops. We got Wall of Omens, otherwise all of our creatures cost three mana. So the idea here is we play this hopefully on turn one, take it up to three counters, and then we just get to start playing three drops for free at instant speed repeatedly. Allows us to do some really sweet tricks with our our Eternal Witnesses, with our Renegade Rallyers, Spell Quellers, Reflector Mages, all those enter the battlefield triggers. Spell-wise, 
Path to Exile, pretty simple. Just gets rid of anything for just a single mana. Cryptic Command is awesome in this deck because we have our Eternal Witness. So we can actually kind of get an Eternal Witness lock going where we Cryptic something, then we get it back with Eternal Witness, and we Venser our Eternal Witness after casting Cryptic again to get it back again and just keep doing that. Gives us like infinite Cryptic Commands, bouncing our opponent's lands, always having a Cryptic command in hand to counter one of our opponent's spells. So lots of value there, especially when you consider we have Ether Vial, so we can kind of play the Ether Vial lock game where we just vial in our Eternal Witness, get back Cryptic, cast Cryptic, Venser our Eternal Witness to get back Cryptic, or we can even do something like vial in our Eternal Witness, get back the Cryptic command, cast Cryptic command to counter a spell and bounce our own Eternal Witness, which gets back the Eternal Witness to vial in to get back the Cryptic command. So since we can choose two modes on Cryptic commands, we can kind of have the eternal command lock, where our opponent just is never able to do anything. We need to cryptic the first spell they cast each turn by violating in our eternal witness to get back cryptic over and over and over again. Mana base wise, we got some colorless mana sources to support our Eldrazi Displacer blank. Attic our ways, Yabmaya Coast, basically try lands in our deck, caps allowing us to cast our colored spells, also activate our Displacer. Ghost Quarter, great with Renegade Rallyer. We can actually get the lock going by just repeatedly blinking Renegade Rallyer to keep hitting back our Ghost Quarter, eventually getting to Strip Mine mode. Otherwise, some fetch lands, some shock lands to fetch up, a bunch of basics, a Glacial Fortress. In the sideboard, we get some more spicy blink targets. Acidic Slime lets us just attack our opponent's lands like crazy. Rex Age lets us blow up artifacts and enchantments. Thrag Tusk, a great life source when we're blinking it, also making a bunch of beast tokens. Another spell queller for control matchups. Meddling Mage and Spell Skite to help protect us against unfair decks, combo decks, infect decks. Then we have Wrath of God for removal. Seal of Primordium is even more artifact and enchantment removal. And then Rest in Peace to just shut down graveyards forever. Just be aware, we do have some sweet graveyard synergies. Renegade Rally, Eternal Witness, Looping Cryptic Commands. So be aware of that if you're bringing in Rest in Peace. Could potentially hurt some of your own synergies in the deck as well. And that is Venser Vant for Modern, and that's our instant deck talk for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.